but I try not to really go after those sub-gingival, equigingival errors really aggressively with a scaler because it could. We finish off with the removal after we've secured everything in place, we've light cured, and now I can feel more comfortable removing any areas of excess cement. But I try not to really go after those sub-gingival, equigingival errors really aggressively with a scaler because it could certainly induce bleeding and contaminate and seep into those areas where there could potentially be some um, small spaces with the cement. So using a scaler along the buckle and certainly all of the margins just to make sure that all of the margins and proximal surfaces are free of any excess cement. So after the restoration has been cemented into place, we'll still pass a floss through interproximally. And here I'm more comfortable applying a more up and down motion. So now that the restoration is secured into place, but we do want to check all of these aspects again. So go ahead and bite down together, tap, tap, and bite hard together. All right, and open. 